Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, children of all ages. Okay. So what I'm here to talk about is some uh, some higher end AR-15 setups uh, and uh, what they entail. This right here is you can see it, it's a Knight's Armament SR-15. It's so going to be topped off with a Compen 4, like you see here. And back here, it's going to be a PEC 15, full power PEC. And then we got a Mod Light. Uh, this is going to be the OK, the Hog OKW. Um, this pressure pad is not connected to the light. The pressure pad is strictly connected to the... Uh, uh, the peck. The reason being is because uh, for night vision setups, uh, you don't want any accidental uh, activations of the light. This light right here has a lot of a lot of throw, a lot of power coming out of it, a lot of juice, and you can see it from quite a distance away. And we want to avoid that. This setup is optimized for night vision. Okay, this is a full length rifle, 16 inch barrel. Uh, this is a complete Knight's Armament uh, setup. It's not a parts kit, not, you know, put together with the Knight's Armament lower. It is complete SR-15. So what does this gun do that makes it so special? Uh, mainly, uh, so Knight's Armament has essentially perfected the AR-15, okay? Uh, they are able to, they put together a rifle that's able to function properly uh, with uh, minimal uh, uh, minimal failures, uh, so to speak. The bolt in this gun is designed differently. It's got uh, uh, dual ejectors, dual ejector springs, dual uh, extractor springs. Uh, the lugs are shaped differently. Uh, to minimize uh, stress on any specific uh, lug. Um, uh, the gas system is optimized for this rifle. Um, the only issue with this gun is, is if you're, you know, if you're able to find them, they're expensive as hell. That's the biggest problem. And they're scarce. But if you do get one, uh, the way, the way, why is it worth it? Let me let me just put it that way. Why is this gun worth it for you to spend the money? Um, if you shoot a lot, it is worth it. If you don't shoot a lot, just a regular run-of-the-mill AR-15 will do just fine, okay? Um, if you shoot a lot, this gun will pay for itself in the long run. And the reason being is uh, um, the maintenance on this rifle is not the same as it would be on a normal gun and the reason being is because the parts are specifically designed to run for a longer period of time without any intervention from the operator um, the parts are redundant so if you get one failure of an ejector an ejector or an ejector spring it's not going to put the gun out of commission okay you got two of everything when inside the bolt uh, the bolt is designed differently. The bolt lugs are everything about this gun. Uh, on the outside, it looks like a regular run of the mill AR. Okay, but I could guarantee, I could tell you, guarantee you, it's not. Um, uh, fully ambi controls, which don't matter to me because I'm a righty. Uh, but if they matter to you, you know, go get it. The muzzle brake on this gun. Uh, you could tell if you look at if you look real close okay uh, that muzzle brake you'll notice there's some differences in each one of those uh, lugs right there so you see those three um, those three lugs at the end okay you'll see that they're both they're all machined differently and the reason being is because uh, whenever you have um, uh, a suppress I'm sorry a muzzle brake in that configuration it tends to give a very specific ring every time you shoot um, those different cutouts put 
a, di a different weight on each one of those lugs. And what that does is it causes the, uh, the harmonics to be thrown off so it doesn't ring. Um, other than that, man, this gun is fun as shit to shoot. The trigger is so beautiful. Um, so smooth. The gas system is just perfect. Completely. In, it, it just Everything about this gun, it, it does exactly what it's supposed to uh, with uh, minimal effort. It's very easy to move around. Okay. And obviously, uh, you got the laser on top. Uh, in the front, the pack, which uh, optimizes this setup for night vision. Okay. Now, past, past this rifle, we're going to go with a little shorty. This is um, kind of a Frankenstein of a build. Okay, it's an LMT upper and a Daniel defense lower. Only reason it's a Daniel defense lower is because... Um, uh, it's my SBR lower. Uh, it's registered, so I'm able to put this other, you know, this, uh, I'm able to put this upper on here. So, this little shorty right here is optimized, again, for a night vision setup. Kind of a CQB type of deal. Okay. Got an 11 and a half inch barrel. Uh, it's got an end gall on top. For those of you that don't know what the end goal is, it stands for the Next Generation Aiming Laser. Okay. And it's got a pressure pad up here. Um, this is a real end goal. It's not one of those airsoft, airsoft things. And on the side here, it's got a Surefire, uh, the 640 uh, dual fuel turbo. All the turbo means it's basically it's got a tighter beam on the end there, or that flashlight. So it's able to focus a, a, a smaller circle out to distance, okay? Um, this gun is extremely, extremely uh, smooth to shoot. It's, uh, I mean, I love it. Uh, the cool thing about this, these two bolts right here, you take those two bolts out uh, and the barrel comes right out. So if I wanted to, I could simply... Uh, take those two bolts out, pull the barrel out, stick a 16-inch barrel on there, and then I got a full full-size uh, rifle. I can do 16. I think they got 18 and a 20-inch. It's also very easy to switch calibers. They got a couple calibers in this uh, that are able to fit with this. And uh, these are two of the nicest guns I own. Um. They're both um, obviously optimized for night vision. You know, you got the IR laser on top. Uh, high rise mounts for the, this is a Comp M5. It's a little bit smaller than the Comp M4 that's on the nights, but um, you know, it's, it's a nice setup, man. Aim points are the way to go when it comes to this. Uh, you can leave these on for years and uh, they'll function just fine. Anyways, you tell me what you think about them, what you want to see, uh, what else we can talk about with these, but you guys have yourself a good day.